vacuum brake booster found in many popular European vehicles is known for plunger seal failure, which creates a hissing noise behind the steering column. This seal is prone to wear and cracking. Air leaking past the plunger seal creates the whistling sound and reduces power brake assistance. The Euro Parts Brake Booster Plunger Seal Kit enables repair of this common brake booster. To replace the seal, you'll need a plastic pry bar designed for automotive trim. You'll also need a small sledgehammer, ideally one with flat sides. The repair kit includes a seal driver tube, which has square and angled ends. Silicone grease is required to lubricate the inner and outer surfaces of the new seal. The Euro replacement seal is manufactured to the same dimensions and is the same material as the original seal. After removing the plunger dust boot and securely clamping the booster to your work area, insert the pry bar between the metal booster housing and the lip of the old seal. Pry out the seal along its circumference. Do not scratch the booster plunger. Even a tiny scratch will create a vacuum leak and the entire brake booster will have to be replaced. Remove the old seal and wipe the booster plunger clean. Spread silicone grease over the outer ribbed areas of the new seal. Use only silicone grease as other types of lubricant may soften, swell, or damage the seal. Spread a generous amount of silicone grease around the inner area of the seal. Also, apply a thin film of grease to the plunger. Slide the lubricated seal over the plunger. Slide the driver tube over the plunger with the square end against the seal. While applying slight pressure with the driver tube, Use the flat end of the plastic trim tool to tuck the seal skirt inside the booster housing. Once the skirt is fully tucked inside the metal housing, tap the driver tube with a hammer to insert the seal to its first rib. Flip the driver tube so that the angled end rests against the seal. Slowly turn the hammer and driver tube to begin seating the new seal. It may take several complete rotations of the driver to fully seat the seal. The seal is fully seated when its lip is flat against the metal housing and perpendicular to the plunger. Reattach the dust boot. The repaired brake booster is now ready to be installed in the vehicle.